Hi, y'all. Today, I'm on the campus of Sam Houston State University, home of the Bearcats. Now, for those of you who may need a little Texas History 101, Texas was its own republic before it was a state. The university's namesake is General Sam Houston, the first president of the Republic of Texas. So it's no surprise this public university is a great name in Texas education. Nestled in the region of East Texas, known as the Piney Woods, Sam Houston State is surrounded by majestic pines, a national forest, lakes and rivers, and rolling hills. For more than 140 years, Sam Houston has been preparing students for meaningful lives of achievement. Its motto, the measure of a life is its service, resonates amongst its 22,000 students, eight colleges, and well beyond its Huntsville roots. Located just an hour north of Houston, Sam Houston State, with its beautiful campus charm, has a Texas small town feel with large scale opportunities offering top ranked degree programs. With over 90 bachelor degrees, 50 master's degrees, and 11 doctoral programs, including the nation's first PhD in forensic science, Sam Houston provides an exceptional college experience for every type of student. The university's newest college, the College of Osteopathic Medicine, is only the third college of osteopathic medicine in Texas. And as one of the oldest universities in Texas, Sam Houston State continues to make history with its student accomplishments, championship athletics, and nationally acclaimed academic programs and faculty. I'm your host, Alex Boylan. Join me as we travel around Huntsville and Sam Houston State University, known for its rich history, contagious school spirit, and diverse student body. Here you'll find future scientists, aspiring teachers, dedicated athletes, and the next generation of doctors, all who are proud to call Sam Houston State home. Okay, let's get it started and see why they say everything is bigger and better in Texas. Welcome to Sam Houston State University. This is the College Tour. Now it's time to head over to the Cat Club. This student hangout has a game room with pool tables, arcade games, and a full eight lane bowling alley. Here we'll meet Jordan Johnson, a mass communication major with big dreams. She's been involved all over campus, making an impact by serving as the president of the Student Government Association and holding the title of Miss Piney Woods. We can't wait to hear all about how you've been serving your fellow students. Take it away, Jordan. Thanks, Alex. Here at Sam Houston State University, being your Bearcat means being involved, which started for me when I arrived on campus. I joined the award-winning Orange Pie dance team and was lucky to cheer on our Bearcats in sports like basketball, volleyball, and football. In my time with Orange Pie, we won two national championship titles. And don't worry if dancing isn't for you. We have organizations of all kinds. We encourage all of our students to get out and get involved. Something that really stood out for me in my time here is the value that SHSU places on diversity. Our culture is inclusive and focused on ensuring equity for all of our students. I got the opportunity to serve on Diversity Council, a student board that organizes and facilitates diversity-related events for students here on campus. We host luncheons, Heritage Month celebrations, and the annual Diversity Leadership Conference that brings out speakers from all across the nation. This is something I've been fortunate to be a part of my time here at SAM. Civic and community engagement are a huge part of our campus culture as well. It's something I'm very passionate about and it became my platform when I competed for the Miss Sam Houston pageant and won the title of Miss Piney Woods. Despite all these accomplishments, what I'm most proud of is being elected student body president. In this role, I focus on educating students on how powerful their voices are on and off of campus. We hosted several voter registration drives and shuttled students back and forth to the polls during the U.S. presidential election. We also held events that taught students about the importance of their right to free speech and how to use their voice to positively impact our community. Service is also a huge part of everything we do here at Sam Houston State. During my last semester, I joined the exquisite Theta Epsilon chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. The sorority's mission is to be of service to all mankind, which beautifully aligns with the university's motto, the measure of life is its service. 
At Sam Houston State University, students are encouraged to serve and do their part to make our community better. I'm so proud of the mark that I've made here at Sam, and I know that my experiences will go on to help me as a graduate and serve me in my career field. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my story. Now back to you, Alex. Jordan, thanks for sharing all about your time here at Sam Houston State University. You've certainly been busy and have worked hard to leave your mark on the Bearcat community. With all of your experience and leadership here, you've definitely prepared to go out into the world and make a big impact. Good luck in your career. Thanks for that, Jordan. All right, everyone, let's head over and meet Ryan, a doctoral student in the Forensic Science Program. Sam Houston State's Forensic Science Program is ranked as one of the best in the nation. And Ryan will talk about the incredible opportunities he has had at Sam, including some research that's getting some national attention. Hey, Ryan, we're excited to hear more. Thanks, Alex. My first time visiting Sam Houston State University was a little bit me being in the right place at the right time. I had a friend in undergrad coming by for an open house, and he invited me to tag along because he knew I was interested in graduate programs and we were both getting science degrees. While I was here, I got to meet our professors and see all the resources that are available for students. The professors were welcoming, and they had plenty to say about the research they had planned. Before long, I found myself applying for the master's program in forensic science. I liked it so much that after two years, I applied to stay as a PhD student. My time with the Forensic Science Department has been much more than just your traditional classroom education. The faculty and staff really push students to step outside of their comfort zone and do more than just attend class. They find ways to incorporate what we're researching back into our coursework and make it applicable to everyday life. At times, I find myself working with our younger students on techniques that I can then take back and discuss in my own seminars with my cohort. And due to a little bit of prodding from some professors, I was able to get a number of scholarships and awards, including a small research grant. Later on, I became a smart scholar with the Department of Defense. And through that, the rest of my education was paid for, and I knew I'd have a position after I graduated. My research focuses on improving DNA recovery from challenging samples, particularly those that crime labs have trouble with. This can include hair shafts, decomposing human remains, and skeletons like those found in missing persons, cold cases, and mass disasters. From being able to access unique assets like staffs, our human decomposition facility, to completing my research in state-of-the-art forensic labs, this university has so much to offer. Beyond that, I have access to all sorts of newly developed technologies from collaborations between my department and private industry leaders. What I'm researching is cutting edge, and although I consider myself just a student, with the support I'm getting from my faculty, I'm able to make an impact on a field that I'm passionate about. That's all for me. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Ryan, and congratulations on your success and your upcoming graduation. Hearing more about your research and the opportunities you've had in the Sam Houston State University's Forensic Science Program is simply remarkable. Thanks again for sharing your experience. Take care, Ryan. Named after a former university president and his wife, the James and Nancy Gatner Performing Arts Center is a world-class academic and performance center. Home to the university's dance department, it also provides performance spaces for the university's music and theater departments and boasts an 800-seat concert hall, 150-seat dance theater, and a 175-seat recital hall. Considered one of the most amazing art centers in the United States, it attracts some of the best faculty and students. Meet Jennifer. She is a graduate of the university's television and film program. Since Jennifer has worked with the College of Arts and Media to produce some great films and promotional pieces, she can give us a first-hand look at all the amazing art programs here at Sam Houston State University. Jennifer, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hey guys, I'm a first-generation college student and recent graduate of Sam Houston State University. I majored in mass communication with an emphasis in film and TV production, so I hope to be in the movie making business someday. My freshman year, I lived in Belden Buchanan Hall, which is dedicated to the students who are in the College of Arts and Media, also known as CAMP. The basement in Belden Buchanan is amazing. It has a dance hall, a theater, recording studio, practice rooms, 
you name it, an art studio even, it's awesome. All of these amenities are open 24 seven to the students who live there. And it's pretty much where I spent most of my time. Belvin Buchanan is located right down Struggle Hill. And one trek up the hill is the Dan Rather Communication Building. That's right, Dan Rather, the award-winning journalist, is a graduate of Sam Houston State University. Even though the campus is 368 acres, everything is pretty easy to get to. The Lowman Student Center, or LSC, is our living room on campus. And there you'll find the cat club with pool tables, big screens, and a bowling alley. The LSC has some really awesome dining options as well. I love being able to place a mobile pickup order with my phone, grab my food, maybe a latte, and then head back to class. I served as a student videography intern for the Dean's Office of the College of Arts and Media and got to film students doing their thing in the Dance Theater as well as the University Theater Center. I also had the opportunity to film students' artwork in the University Gallery in our state-of-the-art Hoyt Fine Art Building. My senior year was mostly spent in Studio A, where I got to produce a game show for YouTube. I loved learning all the ins and outs of the TV process. There's so much to explore here at Sam Houston State University. Students really have access to it all. Sam Houston State University is located about halfway between Houston and Dallas on I-45 in the Piney Woods of Texas. It neighbors the Sam Houston National Forest and it's beautiful here. Being from the Panhandle myself, I've loved the change of scenery. You can go on hikes or enjoy the lakes. The Blue Lagoon is nearby where students can cool off or even adventure in scuba diving. Downtown Huntsville is just a short walk from campus where students can find fun food trucks, local coffee shops, and some really cool stores. During my last year, I was selected to switch places with the university president for a day. I got to work in the president's office, meet with administrators from all over campus, and attend events on her behalf. Meanwhile, she went to my job, classes, and org meetings. Sam Houston State University has given me so many great opportunities and I've loved my time here. I'm so excited to see where I'll end up after graduation. Okay, that was my story. Back to you, Alex. Jennifer, you've certainly stayed busy on and off campus exploring all the great things that Huntsville has to offer. And it sounds like your time as the president for a day was one for the books. Good luck as you head off into television and film. Hopefully, we'll see you in Hollywood real soon. Take care. Next, we're headed over to the George J. Beto Criminal Justice Center, the hallmark of the nationally ranked College of Criminal Justice at Sam Houston State. Here, we'll meet Francisco, a criminal justice major who came to the university as a military veteran. Take it away, Francisco. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. Transitioning from the military to Sam Houston State University as a first-generation college student, the challenges I faced were tougher than I expected. Thankfully, Sam Houston State University offers great resources and is considered a military-friendly school. To start off, the Veterans Resource Center assisted me with my VA education benefit and provided academic support throughout my college experience. The Veterans Resource Center is a great location to use the computer lab to study, to meet with veteran students, or to meet with veteran support staff for services and information. The Collegiate Veterans Association also helped me with my transition. We are a student club who provides support to our members during their transition from a military culture to a college culture. One of my favorite events is a yellow ribbon, which occurs every year during the fall semester. During Veterans Week in November, we hang yellow ribbons with note cards to display the many sacrifices that our service members and families make and to also show community support in wishing them a safe return back home. I chose Sam Houston State University because of its prestigious criminal justice program. One of the things that I love about the program is the variety of internships offered at the federal, state, local agencies, nonprofit organizations, and private corporations. Halfway through my junior year, I decided to change my major to Homeland Security, which is a new program offered to us. And let's just say that I love the new program and love the classes offered. Sam Houston State University is a great college for anyone 
looking to pursue a career in law enforcement, corrections, or the justice system. I am thankful for all of the people that made my university experience memorable, and I am proud to be part of a veteran community here at Sam Houston State University. Thank you guys for letting me share my story. Now back to you, Alex. Francisco, thank you for your service to our nation and to the veteran students of Sam Houston State University. The Veterans Resource Center is a great resource for veteran students and their families to transition and connect with the university. It's fantastic to see how you found your home here. Best of luck as you head into your career in Homeland Security. Take care. It's time for an off-campus adventure to meet Courtney, an agriculture science major who's studying to be an ag teacher. She's working at Gibbs Ranch, a working ranch facility that was deeded to the university in 1993. Here, agriculture students spend time working with cattle, goats, and maintaining the 1,800-acre property. Just a short 12-minute drive from campus, this property serves as a second home for Sam Houston State University Ag students. Let's join Courtney to get our boots dirty and see why life is better on the ranch. Thanks, Alex. Howdy, my name is Courtney, and welcome to Sam Houston State University. Growing up in Northern California, agriculture has always been dear to my heart. Some of my favorite memories were helping out on the ranch, even as a young child. In high school, I was heavily involved in Future Farmers of America, where I showed livestock, held leadership positions, and also went on to obtaining the highest degree in FFA member could receive, my American degree. Being a first-generation college student that was raised by my grandparents, the thought of attending college was so exciting, but also pretty scary. Although there were plenty of amazing schools back home, this California girl knew she wanted something so much bigger. And as everyone knows, everything's bigger in Texas, and something about Texas agriculture truly drew me in. When I first started looking at universities, I thought I wanted such a large setting, but quickly realized that I wanted to be more than just a face in the classroom. I wanted to have a personal connection with my university and my professors. And thankfully here at Sam Houston State, I have found that place in the Ag Science Department. I'm a proud member of Sigma Alpha, an agriculture-based sorority, Cattlewoman, Collegian FFA, TRIO, and I've even served as a national Teach Ag ambassador. As you can see, I've kept pretty busy with all the opportunities here at Sam. I'm so grateful for everyone here at Sam Houston who has constantly pushed me to do better in my career. My professors are so focused on ensuring that I'm successful in my field. They've helped me with hands-on experiences, such as out here at Gibbs Ranch, where I've learned to vaccinate goats and the proper way to back up a truck and trailer. I fixed engines in my ag mechanics classes and then would find myself rushing to the horticulture center to propagate a peach tree. Here at Sam Houston, I am so thankful for all the opportunities to ensure that I'm not only gonna be a well-rounded ag teacher, but also a great agriculturist. My sorority has introduced me to a phenomenal group of young professional women, and some of my favorite memories are cheering on our fellow sisters compete on the rodeo or horse judging team, and we've even helped with Collegian FFA with steer saddling. Let me be honest, I never pictured myself being a bear cat. For the most part, I didn't even know what one was or that they existed. But since being at Team Houston State, I have never been more proud to be called one. Thanks for hearing my story. Eat them up, cats, and back to you, Alex. Great job, Courtney. From California all the way to Huntsville, your path to become an ag teacher has been full of incredible learning opportunities. You're gonna be a great resource for the next generation of farmers and ranchers. Thanks again for taking the time with us today. Take care, Courtney. Now let's meet Will. Will is part of Sam Houston's top-notch School of Nursing, which trains its students for lifelong careers in healthcare, but more importantly, is compassionate care. As a student nurse, Will goes above and beyond balancing demands of this accredited program with involvement in student organizations and how that has shaped his experience here at Sam Houston State University. Will, you are on. Thanks, Alex. Hey there, my name's Will Kinch, and my time at Sam Houston State University has been full of great opportunities. 
I've been involved on campus as the president of the Theta Mu chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. I've been the president of the Order of Omega Greek Honor Society, a two-term vice president of the NAACP. I'm a member in the Honors College, and today I'm a student in our School of Nursing. When I chose Sam Houston State's Huntsville campus for my nursing school prerequisites, I was nervous. I only knew two people. However, I understood that attending a college where I didn't know many people could be refreshing and it could give myself an opportunity for growth and even reinvent myself if that's what I wanted to do. That being said, I knew that there was gonna be challenges I would face as a minority student. I quickly felt welcomed by the Center for Diversity and Intercultural Affairs. They helped me find organizations that I could join in which I would thrive and where I could be heard. This was extremely important to me because I knew I wanted to leave my mark on SHSU. Being a part of different organizations has allowed for me, and along with other students, the opportunity to meet with the school's administration on ways to make a positive change on campus for minority students. As I stated before, I am a proud student of our School of Nursing. Our program is extremely competitive and rigorous. Uh, that being said, you know, I didn't get in the first time I got a denial email. So what I did was I went back and I retook a couple classes. I even got my CNA license to make myself a more competitive applicant. This happens to a lot of students, but it can serve as motivation and it's gonna make it all the more worthwhile in the end when you get your degree. Through hard work and dedication, I not only got accepted, but I've been the student representative for my cohort since I was admitted. I'm incredibly grateful for the number of open labs that our program offers so that we can have as much time as possible to practice and hone our skills. As a minority male, I understand I have the opportunity to set an example for and lead others toward the profession of nursing, which is something that I personally take very seriously. Sam Houston has awarded me so many different opportunities, and I'm excited to see others from my organizations follow in my footsteps. I want to continue to advocate and service my community around me as I've been able to do here so far. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my story. <laughs> now, back to you, Alex. Will, thank you for sharing your experience and involvement in campus organizations here at Sam Houston State University. With your passion for nursing and perseverance, I know you're an inspiration to others. Will, thanks again for that. Okay, let's head over and meet Erin, an education major who's chosen Sam Houston State's nationally ranked College of Education to help her become an elementary teacher. She is waiting for us near Austin Hall, which is located on the historic end of campus. Austin Hall is the oldest building west of the Mississippi River to be used continuously by an educational institution. And it's the oldest structure on the Sam Houston State campus. Erin, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. I'm Erin Griffin, and I'm a senior here at Sam Houston State, majoring in education. Ever since I could remember, pursuing my education has been a big goal of mine because I knew that a good education would help me overcome the many obstacles I faced while growing up. Due to unfortunate events, my family and I were homeless for a while. So my mom, sister, and I frequently moved around Texas to stay with different family or friends that could help us. Nevertheless, I challenged myself in every way that I could in school because I knew that was the key to securing a brighter future for myself and for my family. The day that I graduated high school in the top 5% of my class, I knew that my hard work had paid off. But I also knew that I wasn't done yet. Since education impacted my life so much, I decided to become a teacher because I wanted to positively impact the lives of others through education as well. Thus started my journey here at Sam Houston State University. Sam Houston was founded as a teacher's college right here in one of our most iconic buildings, Austin Hall. In 1879, four faculty members set out to make teachers out of their first 110 students. While we don't hold classes in this building anymore, we do still hold special events here, which students are always excited to attend. To this day, teaching is an integral part of our university culture. With a nationally ranked education program, I knew I would have the opportunity to be the best teacher I could be here at Sam Houston. With a wide variety of helpful resources available to students, I've been able to take care of myself and become financially stable for the first time in years. I know that my hard work and dedication to my education has opened up opportunities that I never thought I would have. My time here at Sam Houston State is just one piece of my journey which I am thankful for every single day. 
I look forward to teaching, mentoring, and caring for my future students, just as all of my teachers and professors have done for me. Anything is possible with an education. Thanks for letting me share my story. Now back to you, Alex. Aaron, what a journey you have had up to this point in life. I know your time in the College of Education is gonna prepare you to be an amazing teacher. Students will be very lucky to be in Miss Griffin's class. Thanks for sharing your story. Cheers, Aaron. Now we're off to meet scholar athlete Ryan. Ryan has played for the Bearcat football team for three years now, and his team just won the FCS NCAA Division I Championship title. Ryan is gonna share with us how Bearcat Athletics defines the student athlete experience. With 17 teams competing at the NCAA Division I level in the Western Athletic Conference, the 13-team conference provides an amazing opportunity for program and student success while continually raising the profile of SHSU's athletic teams, including the championship football team. Ryan, I'm passing it over to you, my man. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. I'm Ryan Humphreys, a member of the 2020 National Championship Bearcat Football Program. I began my Bearcat football career as a walk-on, and after a year of hard work and dedication, I received an athletic scholarship. I've learned a lot about the student athlete experience, and my appreciation for college athletes has definitely deepened. We are a close-knit Bearcat family. We practice together, study together, and work really hard to cheer on each other's teams. Rarely will you go to a sporting event and not find other student athletes cheering each other on. Another way I've supported my fellow athletes is serving as the president of the Student Athlete Advisory Council, which works with faculty and staff and reports to the university president. Our council makes policy recommendations and advocates on behalf of the student athletes. The Bearcats athletic staff is another group that ensures that student athletes are successful. They give us everything we need to be great on the field and in the classroom. I've been so lucky to be a part of some incredible moments as a Bearcat football player. From throwing a touchdown on my first collegiate snap to playing quarterback in a win against the ninth ranked team in the country. However, my favorite memory came this past season in the FCS semifinals against James Madison University. When trailing down 21 at the half, we rallied back and completed one of the greatest comebacks in FCS playoff history. We then went on to win the national championship in Frisco, Texas against South Dakota State for the first ever FCS national title in Sam Houston history. It was an unforgettable game to end an amazing undefeated season. Bearcats athletics is near and dear to my heart. Overall, being an athlete at Sam Houston State has been a fun and unique experience. It has taught me that discipline and dedication will take you far and has given me teammates that will be a part of my family for the rest of my life. I've bled Bearcat Orange for the past three years competing and rooting for this university, and I will do so long after I graduate. Once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. Back to you, Alex, and eat em up, cats. Wow, thanks, Ryan. 2020 FCS NCAA Division I football champions. What an amazing accomplishment. Sounds like an incredible season and an excellent student athlete support program. Congratulations to you and all Sam Houston State University Bearcat athletes. Thanks again, Ryan, that was great. Next, we're meeting Ashley, an alumna who earned both her undergraduate and graduate degrees here at Sam Houston State University. Service to self and others is paramount at Sam Houston State and is reflected in everything Bearcats do. A proud member of the Bearcat family, Ashley continues to follow the university's motto of a measure of a life is its service and has devoted her career as a school counselor to helping others. Take it away, Ashley. Thanks for the warm welcome, Alex. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley. I'm from Houston, Texas. I earned both my bachelor's and master's degrees from Sam Houston State University in school counseling and education. There was no better choice than Sam Houston State University that helped me realize my goal of becoming a teacher. After completing my bachelor's degree, I quickly realized that I had a desire to impact my students and families in a greater capacity. I wanted to make sure all students felt valued, loved, and respected despite their challenges. 
I served as a classroom teacher for several years before I began to think about furthering my career as a school counselor. I knew that it would give me more opportunities to work with students and families from our school that needed more support. Returning to SHSU was the best decision I ever made. The College of Education provides a face-to-face -face environment while faculty and staff observe and give feedback. The hands-on training is so helpful. The program helped me to go into my role as a counselor with confidence, knowing that I had the skills to serve my families and my students well. Being a school counselor is more than just the job. I have a responsibility to my students and families to guide them into the right direction. It requires me to make a commitment each day to show up and make sure that we are all moving in the right direction. In my time as being a school counselor, I have been recognized as the Texas School Counselor of the Year for Lone Star School Counselor Association. I have found my life's purpose and I feel so empowered to make a difference in my community every single day. Sam Houston State University sparked the passion within me for serving people and instilled the belief that no matter what someone goes through, they can get better, can push through, and change their reality. Being selfless, always giving, always leading, always making a difference. That's what service is all about. Sam Houston State University taught me that. I'm a proud alumni Bearcat of Sam Houston State University. Eat them up, cats. Now back to you, Alex. Thank you, Ashley. Your story and your dedication to serving others is commendable. Congratulations on your success, and thank you for sharing how your experience here at Sam Houston State University helped you realize your goal. And yes, eat them up, cats. Okay, now let's meet student Dr. Kensley at our next stop, the brand new state-of-the-art College of Osteopathic Medicine, only the third in the state of Texas. Kensley is a small town guy doing big things here at Sam Houston. Today, he's gonna to talk about how his passion for helping others brought him to Sam Houston, as well as this amazing new medical program and the healthcare opportunities it will provide for all Texans. Kensley, please take it away. Hey everyone, and thanks Alex. Welcome to the new Sam Houston State University College of Osteopathic Medicine down in Conroe, Texas. My name is Kinsley Grant. I'm a second year osteopathic medical student here at SHSU, and I'm proud to be part of our first year of student doctors. Over the past year, our faculty and staff and students have worked hard to create a learning environment that is truly diverse and collaborative. We've been able to join national organizations like the Student Osteopathic Medical Association, the American Medical Association, and the American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians. Our faculty have led us down a path to really look at medical policy, and they push us every day to advocate for changes. We've done this by speaking to our state representatives about creating initiatives and fostering changes in policies that we can control. We've worked together to create outreach partnerships, student organizations, interest groups, and we've developed a free clinic for the underserved at the Salvation Army. Like many others, I knew that I wanted to be a physician from a young age. I grew up in an extremely small town out in rural West Texas with a population of about a thousand. I've seen firsthand members of my community miss their medications or miss doctor's appointments because of lack of healthcare options. The nearest clinic is a 60 mile round trip drive. These types of access to healthcare limitations create incredible difficulties for people living in rural America. Sam Houston State's mission is to increase access to healthcare in Texas by promoting primary care and teaching students not only how to treat patients, but also how to care for their communities. Our program is designed to immerse student doctors in hands-on practices, and our state-of-the-art facilities really make that possible. We have a mock hospital wing with an operating room and a full doctor's office suite, each of which allows faculty oversight and observation through specialized rooms. At SHSU, we believe that the measure of life is its service. And we try to put that saying into practice here every day. As a small town guy from rural West Texas, I know that this comm is gonna make a difference in the lives of Texans for years to come. We wanna thank you guys for stopping by. We appreciate you. Back to you, Alex. Kensley, you've been busy. 
thank you, your fellow students and faculty, for your impressive work to provide greater access and quality health care for all, and for sharing your story in the amazing facility at the College of Osteopathic Medicine. We are all wishing you the very best in your future endeavors. Take care. All right, everyone, was that a fun episode or what? Bearcats, thank you for showing us around Sam Houston State University. Your campus location in the beautiful piney woods of East Texas is unbeatable and offers students a chance to get out and explore nature. This campus boasts a small town feel but comes with some large scale opportunities. Your nationally recognized academic programs and facilities really expose students to world-class learning right here from the Lone Star State. And with all the success of Bearcat athletic teams on the national level, I know we'll continue to see them representing Sam in big ways. From the classroom to the community, it's easy to see how Bearcats are living out the university's motto, the measure of a life is its service. I'm sad to say it, but we need to sign off here from Sam Houston State University. Now it's up to you all to learn more about the university for yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you on campus real soon. Take care, everyone.